Hello, my wonderful dear from brothers and sisters. Hey, I don't come again. Happy New Day and also Happy Thursday. I still remain and my dear Nathan reporting live on the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Um, oh, there is an issue and a very, very urgent matter as I'm talking to you now. Even me, sir, reading this news, eh? if I have my way, I want to have my way, all the whole. Whatever is being called, or whatever they call themselves, they say they are Ohanes and Dibelibe, Ohanes and Dawsa, Uremon, where Bobuchi Hantani the Ham won't pay. Make on a hear this headline, at least for you to know where I am driving to. Release Mazin Nam the Kano in time to allow Southeast enjoy their Christmas. Ohanes begs to Numbu. After two years and in incarceration, even when the appeal court says, let him go, which I beg, unconditional, and uh, awarded almost 8 billion naira as compensation to Mazen Namdekano and ordered them to return him to Kenya where they picked him from. Till today, the so called Ohanes and Dibiribe still come out now to tell us that they are begging Tunumbu to free Mazen Namdekano under what ground? Honor that tomorrow now they will give you condition that okay, we are going to free him now. Uh, let him sign that he will never agitate again for the freedom of Biafra people. In international laws, freedom of speech is welcome, it is never a crime. Agitation for self determination is never a crime, which the so called zoo is a signature to it. I still wonder what kind of brain does it mean that their brain are being clothed with cockroaches? Or cobwebs that they can't reason like a human beings. You are begging Tunumbu to free Martin Nam the Kano to allow his people to enjoy the X Mash. Anybody that will come now not mandating the court and the so called Geological Republic of Nigerian government to free Martin Nam the Kano unconditionally, that plea shall never, I mean, let me he never see the light of the day. That is where I stand. If Martin Nam the Kano should be released, under no circumstances shall be shall any attachment been uh, uh, been uh, uh, I mean uh, been added to it. No, not even uh, the so-called uh, governors uh, that keep on saying, "Oh, release him to me. Uh, I will provide him whatever you need him." Martin the Kano, the level where you don't reach now. Even Martin the Kano now is holding the so-called uh, Fulani control government of Nigeria in their sukrutum oji anapamu. If you if you follow law very well and you follow the this case very well, you understand that Martin Namdekano is that is the one that is holding them now, not them holding Martin Namdekano. The only thing Martin Namdekano don't have is freedom, but he is the one that is holding them in the sukrutum. Because Trumbu warrior warrior, no any single investor will ever state their foot in Nigeria. Or they think that they are not aware of uh, this uh, shenanigans happening in the appeal court or the case of Martin Namdekano, they are aware. If you think they are not aware, why haven't the Indians that they, the so-called president traveled and came back and uh, give them propaganda that, oh, they have secured $14 billion worth of investment from India till today? No single person have come. Or no even single person have come out to make a statement and say, yes, we have agreed to invest in the Nigerian soil. It, it happened in uh, Dubai. It happened in the Saudi Arabia. Even in Saudi Arabia, he was there. Life and direct when they turn back over 200 and no over 177 uh passengers that's been uh, lifted by uh Alan Onyema's airline a piece. Your presence is there, no respect because they know that even if they fought the, the airline or they fought the uh, Alan Onyema as a Nigerian, that even their president don't even respect rule of law, so why must they respect him? Being in their country for them to do whatever they want to do to the the, the, the Nigerian citizens. So anybody pleading for the release of Martin Nam the can to either to Numbu or to whoever, that person why no here? Yeah. Oh, a flavor. No go, eh? Oh, we a good hand in it. Mamma, you are. Could you have any nick? I have you got any kaja, 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 really. Dara, dara. Anyway, my wonderful people are go make I know just to provoke anyhow because these people they make me provoke. Uh, what are you crying? You are crying to Tunumbu to free Mazen Nam Dekano. Eh? No, let them, re let them refuse to free Mazen Nam Dekano on the 15th of December. And let's see if that country will remain the same or not. Well, my wonderful people, if you get this message, 
like it comment on it share it and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos let us read in between the lines there's no time to tell time our campaign is still going on to hashtag free beer france hashtag free mazen nam the canon and hashtag on the mandate of mazen nam the canon we all shall stand hashtag beer france to the world hashtag all hell beer france the apex Igbo social cultural organization Ohaneze Ndiawosa has pleaded with Bola Ahmed Tunumbu Adegunle Misisi for the prompt release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob, Namdekano, to allow the Southeast to enjoy their Christmas and New Year festivals. Okute News report that the body made a call on Thursday against the backdrop of the comments by the Chief of Defense Staff, Christopher Musa, that safe acclaimed Biafra agitator Simon Ekpa was sabotaging the efforts of the security operatives in the southeast. In a statement signed by the factional secretary general for Hanese Ndibelibe, Oketuku Isibuzoro disclosed that the release of Kano will restore peace in the region and the service of the, uh, the chief of a defense staff and security chiefs to maintain peace uh, will no longer be necessary because the main person that is causing the unrest or why people have taken to the streets will be or is already outside uh, or is already have his freedom. It was all lamented that foreign his men and criminals have exploited the Biafra attention to terrorize the Southeast. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Anese Ndibelibe, stressed that the Southeast region has lost over 42 trillion naira since the incarceration of Nam Dekano, adding that his release would end the artificial security challenges created in the Southeast by criminals using his name as an excuse to perpetrate heinous crimes. The statement reads, Haneze Ndi Beribe, Ojis Bola Ahmed Adekunle Tunumbu, Mrs. as a respected political father of the nation to consider the plights and predicaments of the Southeasterners and release Nam De Kano in time for them to enjoy their Christmas and New Year festivals in a serene environment and a peaceful atmosphere. You can chukwe si kuzoro epo ensu mwaka waku amado waha mabuku egu ogu kuchie yike for making all these unguided statements. No, no, nobody need to plead with anybody for the freedom of Martin and the Kano because he is the one holding them at their sukrutum. If peace is restored in the southeast through the release of Nam the Kano, the services of the chief uh, of defense staff and security chiefs to maintain peace will no longer be necessary in the region. It is uh, disheartening to know that the people of the southeast have suffered unjustly at the hands of the Fulani herdsmen and criminals who have exploited the Biafra struggle to terrorize the region. And is shocked that the chief of defense staff and security chiefs have not investigated or spoken about or spoken out about the discovery of over 70 persons brutally murdered by herdsmen operating from the Lokupanta cattle market in Leru Umunochi at their stage. Why would they speak about it? The lives of those people does not matter to them. They are the people that will tell you that one uh, a life of a cow is worth more than a life of the complete uh, community or village. Why can he speak about it? He cannot say about it. Are they not the ones who keep on saying that uh, Simon Ekba is causing trouble in the Southeast or making things difficult for them? But the South Southeast is being militarized by the so called Chief of Defense Staff and Chief of Army Staff. Every 100 meters pole, we have a security personnel, either police, NCDC, uh, ESCC, uh, custom, immigration, and the military. Still, yet, in their behind, there is bushes around there. I mean, camps of Fulani herdsmen kidnapping our people, killing them, mowing them, and uh, discharging their private parts for human trafficking. They will not say that, but they keep on calling all sorts of names that will kill them when the time is right. The source of insecurity challenges in the Southeast are primarily the activities of Fulani herdsmen and criminals who use the name of the Biafra agitator as a cover. The Southeast region has lost over 42 trillion naira since the incarceration of Nam De Kano and the criminal invasion of Fulani herdsmen during the Buhari administration. And Ndibelibe calls on Bola 
Ahmed Tunumbu to address the shortcomings of the past administration that have led to the current insecurity challenges in the Southeast. The release of Nam de Kano will not only bring solace to the people but also restore confidence in the leadership commitment uh, to the welfare and security of Igbo people. One more news before we round up. Videos so, protests so, don't erupt in Kano over confusion of the judgment. Okay, I think uh, this is a news that I have given before. Well, uh, let us uh, see to it. Which one is this again? Oh, um, uh, what are we saying? Okay, uh, this one is a uh, Kujo prison break. Explain the whereabouts of prisoners uh, that escaped your custody. Reps tell Nigeria uh, uh, prison service, I mean, NCS. The House of Representatives have demanded answers from the Nigerian Correctional Service about the whereabouts of the inmates who escaped from the Kujem Medium Security Custodian Center in 2022. On Wednesday, yesterday, uh, House uh, directed its committees on uh, reformatory institutions, interior, and police affairs to collaborate with the relevant security agencies to produce a comprehensive report on the status of the escaped inmates, Nigeria News reports. The committees have been given six weeks to report back to the House for further legislative action. Emmanuel Upong Udo, a member representing Econo and any in the federal constituency of Akwai Bomb State, sponsored a motion that led to the resolution of the House. During the debate, Opong Odo highlighted that the Islamic State in West African province, that is Ishwab, has claimed responsibility for the July 2022 attack on Kujek Custodial Center, which resulted in the escape of dozens of Boko Haram suspects. He further uh, noted that 879 inmates, including 64 Boko Haram terrorists, flee the facility with 422 remaining unrecovered or recaptured by the so-called security agencies. The Nigerian Correctional Service has, uh, uh, has been urged by the House to provide a detailed report on inmates and establish effective methods for tracking both inmates and perpetrators using its database. The House expressed its concern regarding the security risk posed by the presence of law-abiding citizens among the 350 escapees who have committed various offenses. It emphasized that the daily crimes are being recorded without any leads on the culprits, which is alarming in the country. Furthermore,